Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a quick review of the Omni Enhanced figures for Overflow and Accelerate from the new Ben 10 series. I guess you could technically call this Wave 3, but these are the only two new ones in the, the most recent new waves being sent out. They're the only ones advertised on the back of the box that are new and the only two new ones on the Playmates Toys website. Literal hot tip, it's PlaymatesToys.com, not Playmates.com. I made that mistake. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at them. So if you already know from the show or the other toys, these are basically the same core mold of the original toys, you know, same core design basically, but with just this essentially Omni enhanced armor around them. Uh, I'm gonna keep on calling Water Hazard. Uh, Overflow here is honestly a little bit more basic. Like, you know, basically he just recolored on this main part here, you know, the chest piece here, the little rock-like pieces here. I think I've said in previous reviews, it kind of reminds me of the look of Diamond Head in the Alien Force Ultimate Alien era. The biggest change, of course, being these two new cannons, which look like Donkey Kong barrels, honestly. And when you get them, you have this clear uh, water plastic piece that attaches right here, and then these two attach via ball joints, so you can sort of get some, some articulation going, which is kind of nice. But the rest of the articulation on this guy is pretty much the same as before. You get a pretty solid range here, nice elbow joint, elbow joint here, and then you get a, a little joint here. Um, so pretty solid stuff. Um, you can move his waist a little bit. You know, he's kind of a weird alien of articulation, but being able to do stuff like this does give him a little more personality. But like design-wise, he's probably one of my lesser favorite enhanced aliens just because it is so basic. Like the Blastoise cannons are kind of cool, but other than that, it just looks like he's wearing a new coat. Like it honestly looks like if we found out that he had a an alien force diamond head form similar to, well, diamond head and alien force. Uh, Accelerate on the other hand, I think is a lot cooler of a design. It's probably one of my more favorite enhanced alien designs. I really like the look of his helmet, which is at the core the same. Like, you have the same visor design here, the same basic head shape, but then you kind of have this flame almost coming out of it. It kind of reminds me of, if like, him and Ultimate Swampfire fused. And then, of course, you do have, like, the sort of armored look to it, and he's got these big old wheels here on his legs now, as opposed to previously, you know, he had like the little roller balls, but now they're full on wheels, which kind of makes it look like he was in an accident and has like a cutting edge wheelchair or like training wheels, but still it's a little bit cooler and like if you have it going a certain way, it can actually roll. Seconds of fun. I feel like this is neater than when just like mecha toys roll just because it's actually a figure, but I think it's kind of cool looking. Like he has these awesome wheels to skate on. You got the flame look. He, he just kind of looks sleeker and more cool and a little bit more different uh, to me. Uh, but it's other than that, it's like the same base mold as Accelerate, which isn't one of my most favorite molds. Like, I would say I'm not as big of a fan of a figure as this figure as I am the form. Not that it's bad or anything, I just think it's one of the weaker figures. Like, his arms are kind of permanently fixed in this running pose, which is kind of annoying. Um, and it just always felt like a slightly weirder figure to me. Um, but I, I do like the design. You have some nice head articulation, so you can just be absolutely creepy like that. Like, you'll never catch me. Well, I even scared me a little bit. I shouldn't have done that. Now I'm not going to sleep tonight. But yeah, so pretty good articulation. It's just like the arms here being a little bit hindered. Uh, you can twist him around, you just can't bend him, which just seems kind of weird because he's like a slenderer guy. Like, usually the more slender, more humanoid the aliens are, the more, like, regular action figure articulation they get. Um, and something like Water Hazard will inherently have, you know, a little bit more, uh clunkier parts, you know, a little bit less articulation because he's a little bit bulkier, so it makes sense that he wouldn't move in certain ways, but there's still some sort of dynamic poses you can get him in. Like, I kind of like the way Water Hazard looks turning, and like, here you can get him in some sort of neat, like, racing poses, which is kind of cool. But overall, nitpicks aside, these are still two solid figures. I'm still pretty impressed with the overall quality of the figures here. I think he's one of the weaker ones mold-wise, but his design is cool. But if you're a fan of any of these forms and you want a figure for him, honestly, I don't think you'll be really disappointed. I think these have been some really solid figures. Uh, I think it's kind of weird that this quote-unquote wave only had two figures because I was actually really looking forward to getting Stinkfly's enhanced version which I think looks really cool but we'll have to see uh, let's look forward to getting more of them and seeing what else we get um, beyond you know this if we start doing more new alien introductions slash or enhanced versions because they're gonna run out of stuff eventually but anyway that's about it until next time don't forget to like comment subscribe Stassen Rider signing out